it's another day, etc. etc. Heard that song before. Today I've got ew, another bath left the remote battery, I believe it is. Uh, I've been sent in to see if we can replace it. Apparently, not available as most of these things aren't anymore. It's just the whole remote's available at about extortion of prices. So, um, I've tested the voltage on this one comes up to about uh, 11 and a half volts Oops. Let me try and measure that just take that in there, stick that in there oh, it's gone to 12 huh. strange 11 and a half a couple of seconds ago ok, so it's still got some life in it but apparently it's got issues let me get that out of the way Stick that in there. I've already taken a couple of pictures of these so I know how to put these things back together. A couple of black wires. And there's um, connections going to every part. White wire to there. It's got a little strip going to there. Connector on the end. As usual, I just make myself a little picky so. So now this thing's going to go back together. So, first order is make up a new pack. It's going to be a couple of days for me, but it'll be in the next frame for yourselves. Maybe of interest. <laughs> Maybe. Just a quick afterthought there, really. Having taken the thing apart, of course. <laughs> I just wonder if that charging board was actually working on the original setup. So I put it back together, jerry-rigged it with a few wires. And just stuck into a power supply. 12 and a half, 12.6 volts, which is what you should have. Let's take about half an amp there. I don't know what kind of power supply sticks into there to recharge it, so I assume 12.6 volts for the three cell pack. And just check the voltages on these. Can, can I get that in there? Just about. Check that one. 4.02 now 4.13 so last time I did this I checked it it was on about 4.3 volts per cell so it was a little bit high I'm just going to leave that for a couple of minutes and see see what happens well so I know at least the charging board is now working But um, I'm just hoping it's not going to give that 4.3 uh, volts per cell, which is not good. I don't know if you can see this on the, through the camera, this is all flashing all over the place. I see with my eyes on about 12.2 volts, 0.4 amp. Let's say, board's working, but... It was given it slightly too much. Let's see, 4.26, that's, that's going up. That's too much, really, for, uh, for a lithium cell. But as I say, I don't know what goes in in there. Maybe just a 12 volt supply, I don't know. But it is what it is. We'll just replace that. We'll just make a new pack out of that. Just another quick thought, really. Uh, uh, before I wired this back together, check the charging board. I was going to charge these cells up individually and see what sort of capacity, if any, they'd be giving me. So that's why I slung that back together. This is just for curiosity's sake. Um, I charged and discharged these. Handy little test if you don't have one. About 12 quid, go and buy one. Um, let's see, curiosity. I can't see that very well, it's a bit blurry, but it looks like on camera. Hold on, I have to look over the camera. Uh, cell 1, 470. Cell 2, 318. Cell 3, 337. It's discharging 1 amp. I was going to discharge them at lower, anyway, they'd be crap anyway, but. <laughs> it, say just for curiosity to see what they do, so an average of what? Uh, 360, 380 milliamp hours, no good. You'd expect about, uh, about 
2 amp hour, something like that, 2000 milliamp hours. So that's that. Uh, so next will be a make a new pack. So this is the new pack uh, made up from new 18650s, uh, capacity of 2600s. So put the board back on a bit of paper underneath there to insulate it. Put the wires back on. Okay, so all I need now, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to apply some power across here. I don't have the correct connector for this. Uh, apply power to the board, make sure it's charging. Then put a bit, a bit of shrink wrap on and put it, finish putting it back together. Uh, for those who are interested, this is a drive drive medical uh, lithium ion battery e1 moly i'm 18650f 11.1 mah so that's twice the capacity of the old one is that the old ones only come up to 400 we scroll back to the beginning of the video i forgot what the what the actual numbers were okay so attach some wires and a Supplying some power to it, going up to going up for 12 volts. I set on 12 volts, half an amp. These cells, this was on seven and a half. One I before they were charged. That's 8.2 now, 4.1 each. And that one, you need reading you bugger bugger. What was that? Yeah, 4.1. So it's it's accepting power in. Um, I tested the output on this, and there was nothing there. So I know this has got circuitry in the, underneath there. I'm hoping it's nothing like lithium-ion, like drill batteries, where you take the batteries out and it refuses, it refuses to cooperate ever again. But we'll see how it works. I'm going to leave that on charge for yeah, a couple of minutes or so. Back to it then. Okay, so that's hooked up to the power supply. You see the meter in there, just seeing what we've got. Uh, showing 8.4 across that one. There's only 12 volt going in. So I don't know what the power supply to this is or charging. You can see that that's, uh, that says 4.2. Let's put that in there. That might be easier to see. I know we've got these connected in reverse, but uh, 4.2. Okay, so we know it charges. Let's stick that off and see if we've got any, any output on these. If there's no output, then I can't use this board. Ah, there we go. 12.34. Oh, great. I wasn't getting anything earlier on before charging. As I say, there's some... Oops. There's some smart circuitry in there, it's underneath that board, I don't know if you can see it. A few chips in there. Okay, well, there's nothing more I can do with that, I'm happy with that. Put a bit of heat shrink on there, put a bit of tape on it, put uh, some caps on the ends. And send that back to the customer, and hope for the best. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. That's that. Okay. So that, until next time, cheerio.